Arlington is getting ready for winter weather. With new equipment and ongoing safety training, our snow team is poised to respond. We'll tell you more about that later in our program, but first, the Arlington County Board voted 4-1 to one to cancel the streetcar that would have run along the Columbia Pike, Crystal City, and Potomac Yard corridors. Board Chair Jay Fassett said it was a painful decision, but a necessary one, as concerns over the streetcar project were dividing the community and overshadowing other important issues. I believe that debating the streetcar issue further with continued discord and dueling facts will not serve our community and will distract us from addressing other pressing issues before us. I have come to the conclusion that the only way to move forward together to rebuild the civility and the consensus that have been the hallmarks of our civic life and our community's success for decades is to discontinue the streetcar project. Our community has a long history of solving complex problems. Today, I challenge Arlingtonians to step forward, embrace this opportunity, recommit to our progressive vision, and to the collaborative civic engagement that has brought us such success over the last decades. If we do that, we will continue to thrive and meet any challenge that comes our way. The board remains committed to Arlington's smart growth vision and to the revitalization of both Columbia Pike and the Crystal City Potomac Yard areas. For more information on the decision, go to news.arlingtonva.us to read the press release. The Arlington Food Assistance Center is asking for your help to feed families in need. Food drives are a great way to help out, so to set one up, visit afac.org and register your food drive. Then. Download one of their flyers to help publicize it. If you have any non-perishable food that you're ready to donate, simply drop by AFAC headquarters or visit AFAC.org to find a donation center near you. Arlington is gearing up for winter weather by providing simulator training for snowplow safety. We've also committed to removing snow from popular bike trails and we're instituting a pilot program to keep those bike lanes clear. Take a look. We decided to clear the trails because we were getting numerous requests from commuters that it was important to them to have the ultimate mode of transportation to get off the streets and to be on the bike trails and it's a great commuter route for them. It is in combined with the commuter route so now we're going to make a more uh, an enhanced effort. We used to do that after the reds and the blue priorities in the county. Now we're going to be doing them as a priority for the commuters. We get uh, two uh, new pieces of equipment to manage the snow on the trails. We're going to be focusing on 10 miles of com heavily commuter used trails to clear the snow and ice during the winter. We're going to pre-treat the trails, then we'll clear any snow during the storm and any potential freeze stall after the event. And the equipment is a tool cat. Um, it comes with several different attachments. We have a snow blade, we have a snow blower, and a brush. So we'll be able to do um, anything from a, an ice storm to a heavy snow event. For all your winter weather related needs, visit our webpage and search Snow Central. The financial planning site NerdWallet ranks Arlington as the number one place in the entire United States for young adults to start a business. Some of the factors included in the study were networking and mentorship opportunities, access to funds, and a high level of education. To find out how you can start a business in Arlington, visit our BizLaunch site at arlingtonvirginiausa.com, keyword BizLaunch. Well, the leaves keep falling and Arlington's leaf collection continues. County crews will collect leaf bags through January 9th on the first business day after your trash collection. Vacuum leaf collection continues through December 19th. Watch for signs in your neighborhood or check the schedule on our website, keyword leaf. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching and we'll see you around Arlington.